Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the June 6th meeting of the Rotary Club of Des Moines. I'm President Matt Music, and very pleased to have all of you here today. We have five guests. Well, actually, the guest count is moving around a little bit, so uh, we have several guests that we might like to introduce. First of all, Raymond Abwek. You could stand and, and just wave to everyone. Raymond will be at the podium in just a minute, and we'll learn more about Raymond's academic journey. He was one of our scholarship recipients a few years ago. Uh, Libby Jacobs, former state representative, former chair of the Iowa Utilities Board, currently clean energy consultant, and bank and bank holding company board member. Oh, and spouse of Steve Jacobs. The least. I'm a lucky guy. The least of those things. All right. Um, Jonathan Perez, principal asset management, where he is a banking credit analyst and guest of Scott Bennett. Welcome. And then finally, Rick Crossbury. Rick, if you could stand. Rick is here, uh, both the son of Bob Crossbury, and he is here from Waynesville, North Carolina, where he is a member of the Rotary Club and president-elect for the second time in a different club, correct? Big time Rotarian, just like his father. Thank you for being here, Rick. Uh, it's Tumblr time. We ask members who don't have a green dollar sign in the badge to contribute a suggested $5 in the cup. And that supports our foundation. Thank you for supporting it. Uh, some sad news today. Um, this is kind of a tough one. President, past president Don Flannery's wife Beth did pass away. Uh, we will share the service information in the newsletter once we have the details. Uh, but if uh, you could reach out to uh, Don and let him know um, that we're thinking of him and that we care about him, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Happy birthday to John Schmidt. He's not here with us today, but if you uh, know John, reach out to him. Even if you don't know John well, reach out to him and wish him a happy birthday. Um, okay, so next up is gonna be Raymond. Raymond, I'd like you to come to the, if you could just make your way up to the podium here. Raymond's gonna say a few words about his academic journey. And then once Raymond is finished, I would like Doug to come to the podium, provide a moment of inspiration, lead us in the four-way test and pledge. And then finally, during the moment of chaos, we'll bring Kyle to the podium to introduce our guest speaker. <laughs> Hi. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Raymond Abwe. Uh, I am the scholarship recipient back in 2019. I went to North High School here in Des Moines. And then um, throughout my time in high school, I really didn't know if I really want to go to college because um, money was a question in my head. Um, I moved here in the US in 2016 from Tanzania, and then there's six of us in my family. So it was really hard for my parents to tell me that they'll be able to afford for my college and all of that. So it was a question in my head to ask, do I really need to go to college and how am I going to be able to pay for it? So that's when um, the Rotary Club of Des Moines Scholarship came to my attention. And then um, I had to apply for it. And uh, yeah, I was chosen to be one of the recipients back in 2019. Um, I decided to go to college and then I attended Grandview University here in Des Moines. Um, throughout my time at Grandview, I was involved in a lot of stuff. Um, I was an athlete, so I was playing soccer throughout the whole time at Grandview. Also, I was a student leader. Um, I was also um, a student ambassador. I mean, admission ambassador is where I was involved, giving tours for all the new families coming to Grandview, telling them all the great things about Grandview. And then um, I was also a member of the diversity advisory team at Grandview. Uh, throughout my time at Grandview, I was first majoring in accounting. Uh, and then in my sophomore year, I decided to add a second major. So I added business administration with a concentration in finance. And then um, I'm happy to tell you guys that I graduated last April with a double major in accounting and business administration with a degree in, I mean, in finance. Um, I will start working in July with uh, KPMG and then it's in this building. So <laughs> that's where I'll be spending most of my time in this building, and then I'll be working on that tax, um, tax team. And then I'm planning to take my first CPA exam in the fall, so I'm studying, it's a lot. 
I hope I will I will do great and then I'll pass. Um, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for um, your scholarship. It really helped me a lot where I didn't have to worry um, how am I going to pay some of the school expenses um, every semester. I just notified with the financial aid is $1,000 coming up from the Rory and then it was $8,000. That's really a lot. And then I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, all I'll say is you guys keep supporting all the youth around, which have the dream like mine, where I didn't really know if I really want to go to college. But great organizations like the Rory Club of Des Moines were part of my journey. And I will always be grateful for your support. So thank you so much. topic today, but uh, 79 years ago on Tuesday, June 6th, 1944, an armada of 5,000 Allied ships and some 13,000 aircraft supported the D-Day invasion by more than 160,000 Allied troops. The invasion marked the turning point in the war in Europe. Those troops landed along a 50-mile stretch of heavily fortified French coastline to fight Nazi Germany on the beaches of Normandy. The D-Day cost that day was enormously high, with more than 9,000 Allied soldiers killed or wounded. 